Writing makes you a better researcher in genealogy, but how can you set yourself up for success? If you set up your book file so you're ready to write as you make discoveries, you will accomplish your goal of writing that genealogy book. This process was key to success when I wrote the rough drafts for 120 ancestors in a year. Howdy, welcome to Write Your Family History. If you're new here, I'm Devin Noel Lee, a published family history author who wants you to learn how to quickly write non-boring family histories to share your legacy with your loved ones. Today, learn how to set up a digital file to receive the notes, thoughts, and details you will curate to accomplish the goal of writing a family history book. Before you can write, you need to have content. For many family historians, our content will reside in an online tree or genealogy program. If you're using paper forms and charts, that's fine, so long as you're not using a disorganized pile of loose papers and sticky notes. One advantage of using digital programs is they often have a report writing feature that will quickly transform your details into sentences in a document. In this video, I will demonstrate how to use Roots Magic's report writing tools to lay the foundation of a non-boring family history book. Open a Roots Magic database containing the persons you wish to write about. You can focus on one individual or a family. Navigate to and highlight the starting person for your project. In the left menu bar, select the Publish option. If the Narrative Report option is in the Quick menu, tap that option. Otherwise, click the All Reports and Charts link. Use the scroll bar to access narrative reports or type narrative in the search box. Then select report type. Options include ancestor only, ancestors and children, and several registered and invented options. For more information on what those style mean, check out this information from the Roots Magic Wiki. My only other caution is that if you're writing for the first time, do not bite off more than you can chew. For ancestral or descendant books, limit yourself to three or four generations. You actually want to complete the project, right? The other options to select at this time are date format. Choose the one that fits your needs. Decide if you want to start each generation on a new page. I like to do that whether or not to include notes. I'm actually gonna recommend that you do not include photos at this stage. Decide whether or not to include private facts. And finally, turn off the prepare information. We're going to create a title page so this isn't necessary. Leave all the remaining default settings as is and then click generate report. Roots Magic will compile the facts, citations, and notes you entered into the program into your chosen report type structure. It's fast, it's quick, but it's not a page turner. While using the easy button for report writing is tempting, don't take this file to press just yet. You likely will have a messy and dull report, even if you have the correct structure to the file. Not boring family histories are easy to understand, have extras such as graphics, photos, and historical context, are arranged to tell a better story, and have sections and subsections to divide up the text. How do you take it from this report preview to a place to review your book? Roots Magic 8 gives you three options for saving your report. You can export a PDF, but that's not the best for revising your story. We want to edit what Roots Magic started, so instead, choose the options to either export to a TXT or a DOCX file. You can then open the TXT or DOC file in your favorite text editing program. You can also import the file into a desktop publishing program as well, but I tend to use writing programs such as Google Docs, Apple Pages, or LibreOffice and format my books just fine. You're almost ready to start writing and revising this report, but heed this one piece of advice. Save two copies of the initial file from Roots Magic. Label one file with original at the end of the file name and label the other with working at the end of that file name. 
Make any revisions to the working file. Leave the original file unchanged. If you make a change you want to restore, you can go back to the original file, find the unchanged portion you want, and then copy and paste it into the working file. You can then continue with your revisions. With the foundation of your ancestor stories in your writing program, you can enhance what Roots Magic has compiled for you. You can revise, reorder, and condense your commentary regarding these events in your ancestors' lives. Add the new stories you have heard or discovered. Include the family legends and discuss how true or false it is. Insert photos, maps, and other graphics to enhance the story. Incorporate family context so the focus isn't just on the individual but on them as part of a larger group. Utilize historical context to help your reader visualize and understand the world in which your ancestor lived. Add chapters and headings to break up the text. Add tables to make data more interesting and digestible. With a familiar structure in place, your file is ready to take you where the writing process goes. You will not have writer's block because you skipped the step of creating a first draft. All of your research and notes are in one place. Now it's time to make it more readable. However, as you work with this file, you may discover a few obstacles that I wish to prepare you for. While you can have multiple generations in one report, you will soon learn that large file sizes and your computer are often incompatible. Lengthening text and source citation, graphics and images use many computer resources. Therefore, you can struggle to work efficiently because your computer does not keep up with your writing and editing. Consider breaking up your file into one person or one generation per file. You can also break up the story of a person into chapters of their lives. After you finish revising the content of each file, you can combine all of the files into one. Or you can export each file as a PDF and then merge the PDF files together using a program like PDFill. As you edit your report, be aware that citation marks, superscripts within the text, are not linked to endnotes or footnotes. This means that when you start moving text around and revising sentences, the citation references will become out of sync. Meaning, if you move a sentence that has the endnote 3 from the Roots Magic generated report to the position where it should be 25, your text editing program will not automatically renumber your citations. Therefore, you will want to find tutorials on creating endnotes or footnotes in your text editor such as this one on creating endnotes at the end of each chapter in Word. Now, when should you update the citation links or index? While you could fix the links before you start revising your story, I recommended adding the links as you revise your text. For instance, start improving the birth story for Person 1, Generation 1, in this case, Robert. After you complete the text, you can revise the citation referencing the story and insert new citations. As you work through the file, the new link citations and index entry will automatically update as you continue to revise, rearrange, and add to your file. Inserting citations as you go forces you to reprocess your work and ensure you have quality sources for the facts you have in your narrative. Do you have to set up this file? You never have to do anything when writing a family history book except for citing your sources. You can start with a blank file and write as you process each document and resources you have. You can later format the book in various genealogy styles or create chapters that fit your book's story arc. The advantage of the preparing a file in this fashion is that your family members and your resource is organized in one place. Plus, again, you finished the first draft, which, let's face it, writing the first draft is the hardest step of all. So if your genealogy program has numerous notes, sources, and so forth, consider giving this process a try and let me know if it helps. Remember to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe. It really helps us grow here on Write Your Family History. Then go check out this video on how to draft that family story.